Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm now going out for a little camp. Looking forward to it. Nice sunny day today. It's beautiful. All right, I'll see you at the campsite. Tonight's hotel. I know what some people are going to be saying. Addy Rondak again, Jordan? Yeah, 100%. I think this is my go to. The wind's coming from that way. That, I mean, that could change at any point, so that's why I can then drop that down. But it keeps all the elements off me, and I love this shelter. It's not always pretty, but to me, it's fucking beautiful. Simple as that. I'm rocking the Coyote Brown DD tarp because it's autumn and it's autumn E. Even though it's not fully waterproof anymore, I don't think it's supposed to rain. It might. If I look at the clouds, it was blue sky a minute ago. Gotta love a dog, ain't you? Hey Amber? Hey? Chill out. No, this is not my dog. This is my friend John's. He's a... He runs a campsite out in, near Docking, between Docking and Fakenham called Dreamy Hollows. And it's basically like a wild camping pitch. I've decided to come here have a little camp and that I am staying in the camper van here for a little bit. Get away from the society, the sick society that we're all living in. Yes, stupid systems and stuff like that. But yeah, got the company of Amber. I think she's like four months old, probably a bit younger. You can keep me company all the time you want. Kind of. Who's a silly girl then? Who's a silly girl? So we've got a fire pit for the night, along with some wood. I've just been chopping up. Got a nice tripod there. But yeah. Some gravy. Campsite. Dream hollows have two showers, one and two, and toilets. Not very wild camping, but it is what it is. And a kitchen sink as well. I'm not using any of them. Got a little map and everything. I'm staying here. Tom's pitch. I think everyone needs to do what I do. What a lot of us do in the community. You know, a couple of weeks ago we lost a good friend of ours, Bill. He's a good lad. 
taught us many things. He was a big inspiration for all of us in the community. And sad to see him go. The last thing he told me before I went off to the Lake District, we we're at that Fetford camp. Uh, if there's something you want to do, Jordan, go out and do it because you don't know how long you got here on Earth. And I took that on board, took myself up to the Lake District, Wales, left you on the farm with Liam and Ellie. Yeah. So rest in peace, Bill, before I say that. Now, for me personally, I'm not interested in so much of this, but I'm going to take you in and show you around the World War I trench and bunker. Could you imagine being in here in the World War I days? Oh, check it out. Got three bunkers, I think. One, two, and three. Get three people in here. So we've got a little burner in there. Get you a little pile of wood. It's cool, isn't it? Table, we've got some old lanterns. Shout out to Steve. State detective because they'd love this. Oh, maybe there's a fourth. Ah, four. So one, two, three, four. I wouldn't like to be on the bottom. I'll probably be there if I ever slept in here. I think I'm going to have to be done at some point. That's cool though, isn't it? Thought I'd show you the bunker. basically the World War I trenches and the bunker that you can stay in, four people. I didn't come out here to advertise this campsite, not one bit. So while I'm here camping, I thought I would share some of their lovely little land. I'll show you the map, which is just over here. So this is from 1947 apparently. I'm surrounded by the trenches. It's where we just see the bunker. Incredible, isn't it? Got myself a little chair for the evening. I know I normally sit on the floor, but it's damp, wet, etc, etc. That's the bed all set up. Got my kettle for the first time in God knows how long. Been looking forward to using my kettle. Been using that jet boil. Oi oi! Got some fly agarics. Me and Dog have uh, set up our camp completely. The bedding is out. Now we'll wait to put the fire on, won't we? Hey?
We have company tonight. John Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> I did remember going to the Peak District and going in them caves. I recorded the whole thing that this guy was doing. But I ended up just deleting the whole video anyway. Deleting it? Yeah. Well, I accidentally. No, the, the whole Peak District. I just got rid of it all. Accidentally? No. On purpose. Right. But I didn't really enjoy it. I hated the fucking Peak District where what? we went. I mean, Mam Tor was nearby. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's the white peaks. Yeah, dark peaks with all your rock faces and all that kind of shit. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Then that's better. Ah. Yeah, I fucked up. Well, it depends on what you want from a, an adventure, innit? Yeah, well, not that. Because <laughs> <laughs> that I'll go to the peaks and go to the dark. Dark peaks, yeah. Dark peaks, yeah. It's the northern half. That's the north. Right, okay. Yeah, because I see some people go there and they've got these great shots of places like where they've been, like the waterfalls, forests, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Where I went, it was just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Mm. Well, we did, because uh, I've done some rock climbing. In fact, I'm a rock climbing instructor. Are you really? Yeah. Fuck me. Um, well, think about that, mate, because so I want to do some rock climbing. So we went to uh, north of Lake Windermere and as the longest approach, that's getting up to the climb and that was like 10k walk with all your gear and that was progressively uphill and then anyway, we got to this climb and that is the biggest climb I've ever done in my life. I was at the bottom so all the <coughs> all the fucking safety was in as I was climbing up anyway so I didn't have to you know hook in or anything like that so yeah that was good but that was uh, what was that 210 meters it's either 120 or 210. Nice. So I'm not, I'm, I'm wanting to think it's 210 metres. What, that, that you nice. climbed? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, I've always been like a tree climber, buildings, yeah. anything like that. I've never done rock climbing. And that'll be on my bucket list next year. Tito slices meat. John's rocked out. Nah. John's rocked out the vodka. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure. Nature at its finest. Girl, stir up. Feel like a king. A king at his camp. Yeah. Oh, it does definitely make the seat warmer. I love it. Are you still molten? It, it's molten. It's really bad. You need to get some spray on there, mate.
Morning folks, how you all doing? Quite a peaceful, calm night last night. I woke up a few times during the night, I got really hot. I pulled the fire closer to me before I went to bed. And I think I woke up two hours later and that fire was still going, but it was absolutely roasting. <laughs> We're getting a brew on, looking forward to that coffee. I'm now about to pack up and take everything back to the car. Um, I don't know whether any of this video is going to be useful to anyone. I mean, I do it for fun. I don't enjoy being on a camera, but I enjoy editing and recording things. So if it's knowledgeable to someone, get out here and enjoy your camps wherever you go. It's nice to be here at the World War I trenches and bunker. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you didn't, it doesn't matter anyway, mate. I did. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being here. I enjoyed filming. So if you want to go out camping this weekend, go out and camp. <laughs>